<laughs> I'm sitting now. I'm sat. Don't tell anyone else that, okay? Mwah. Sue me. Hi, cozy friends. I am so excited. This week we're sponsored by Hoko Life, which y'all know is a game I've talked about before, I've streamed before. To be sponsored by Hoko Life is so exciting right now. And I realized I played the game before its release on stream, but I never played it on my channel for y'all. So this is the perfect time. And they're celebrating their full launch on Steam and on Nintendo Switch. It will also be available on Xbox and PlayStation if you have this. So just a little background if you don't know, Hoko Life is a cozy city builder, there's friendly villagers, there's bugs to catch, there's fishing, there's mining, and then there's lots of creativity and customizing and building furniture and, and all different kinds of things for the town. You can grow crops depending on the season, you can choose which villagers you want in your village. There's a design and painting tool that allows like peak customization of items, and that's all the background you need really. I'm so excited to test out the full release with y'all. Let's get started. All right, y'all, I'm ready. I have my cow headphones on because if I recall there's a cow villager in here oh so cute <gasps> the hair options there's so many y'all there's so many <gasps> y'all there's so many cute options I think I have to do the bun this is one of the most accurate hairstyles of my hair y'all know I struggle with finding the right hairstyle I have to compromise on something that's relatively close and now I don't have to oh my god and you can customize the skin tone <gasps> look at this cute cheeks oh, so cute okay I think I'm not gonna mess around too much with the colors I think I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I'm not a, a color expert, so I'm gonna turn out like green. But I love that they have the customization. She just sitting. This is very cute. Already very cute. Vaguely remember this. It feels so long ago now. I think I tried it like over a year ago. Yeah, cause it was like one of my first couple of streams. So it was definitely over a year ago. <gasps> That's crazy. Welcome, welcome. Well, it looks like it's still raining out there. I. Ay? Ay. Ay. <laughs> take a seat. Relax a bit. Okay, buddy. All right, I'll take a seat. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sitting now. I'm sat. Perhaps a hot drink will warm you up. Um, tea. I'll take tea. Just a moment. He's so sweet. Well, it's not every day we see a new face in town. I hope your journey wasn't too wet. I'm actually soaked, but thank you. We have really had some terrible weather lately. Hey, you're not wrong there. I keep doing the wrong version. I don't suppose you brought some sunshine with you on your trip here. <laughs> Moss, I love you. Here you go, my dear. I'm Alma, by the way, and this is Moss. It's lovely to see a new face in town. What's your name, dearie? Ooh, what is my name? Yay. Ah, Ken. What a lovely name. Pleased to meet you, Ken. I don't suppose you've sorted out somewhere to stay tonight. Not really. I was really just flying by the seat of my pants, friends. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, don't be silly. They can stay here. I've got an old room upstairs. Might be a bit dusty, but well, the dust never hurt anyone, eh? I'm sure those spiders would enjoy the company. Ha 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 ha. Spiders! Hold on. Hold on, y'all. We didn't talk about this. We didn't talk about the spiders. Can you sweep them up? Can you, can you get them out of the way before I go sleep up there, please? Thank you. Shush you. It's not that bad. Ignore moss now. It's lovely, I'm sure. Now then, how come you ended up here? I wanted a change. I'm going with the classic, I wanted a change, I wanted out of my city life. How lovely. Well, a change of scenery is good once in a while, I say. Aye, that's true. It's very much a slower pace of life here. Suits me just fine. I love that, I want that in real life. I want a slower pace of life. That's all I want. <sighs> Moss here runs the store across the street. It's not much, but I like to think it's got everything one could need. That reminds me, Moss. I need to sort out some new roof tiles. A flu blew off last night in the storm. I'm sure I've got some lying around that'll do the job. Wonderful. Oh my, listen to us chattering on about this and that. Can't be very interesting for you at all, my dear. <laughs> I'm sure they're just happy to get out in the rain, aren't you, youngin? Yes, I am. I was, like I said before, I was soaking wet, friends. Well now, I think I'll need to be heading off. I. it's getting late. I'll be shutting up soon too, I reckon. You can head on up when you're ready, Ken. Your room is just upstairs through the door back there. Thank you. I'm sure I'll speak to you again tomorrow, Ken. But until then, sleep well. With the spiders. 
This shop is so cute. Okay, going to sleep. Getting a little sleepy sleeping. Get some sleep by interacting with the beds. Are those spiders? <laughs> Bed beds allow you to take a nap for a few hours or sleep until the following day. I'm gonna sleep until the following day. Up I go, up and at him. Early bird gets the worm, Oma. Morning, how'd you sleep? Oh, I meant to say great. I'm sorry, Oma, I'm, I'm not, I'm very grateful for the spider bed. It looks like you brought the nice weather with you, my dear. It's a lovely sunny day out there. Moss even managed to clear the fallen tree too, so now you can go and explore the rest of the village if you like. I'm sure you're dying to meet the other villagers, and I'll bet they'll be happy to see a new face. By the way, you're welcome to stay here as long as you need. Oh my, you're so sweet. You can probably tell, but I don't get many guests, so I won't be needing the room back just yet. Okay, I will be um, making good on that uh, offer because I have nowhere to stay. You're very welcome, my dear. Anyways, just head along the path north if you like to see the rest of town. I would like to see the rest of town. Goodbye. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I love how they walk. It's like a little hop, skip, hop, skip. Oleander, oh, you haven't seen a red scarf around here, have you? It blew off in the wind and I can't find it. No, oh, I haven't, he's so cute. Ah, hmm. if you find it, please let me know. Okay, Oleander, I love that name. Thank you. Oh, he's so cute, I wanna find the red scarf for him. Let's find it, let's find it, let's find it. Where's your red scarf, Papa? I don't wanna miss any, I'm gonna pick this up. Can I pick it up? Oh, I can pick it up. I'm just gonna pick up some things if I can. Ooh, I can cross this area. I'm totally not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it, but y'all know I never do. Y'all know I do this every time. Even in a sponsored video <laughs> that I'm very grateful for, I'm not gonna follow the directions. I'm just gonna explore because it's fun. And you know what? I love when a game lets you do that, okay? I love when the game's not like, oop, you're supposed to be back here doing this specific thing. I just wanna explore. I wanna get the lay of the land. You know what I mean? Sue me. Oh, there's a red scarf! See what happens when you just... I, I would've found that regardless. <laughs> I would've found that anyways, but we got some clams along the way, okay? Where's Oleander? Oleander, come here, I found it! Ah, you again. Did you find my scarf? I sure did, Oleander. Oh, you did? Well, I must say, I wasn't expecting that. How very kind of you. You're so welcome. I'm Oleander, by the way. Welcome to town, I suppose. Now, what was I up to? I don't know, what were you up to? Do you need help? Do you need help with anything, bud? I'll help you with literally anything. You're my favorite, and I love you already. Don't tell anyone else that, okay? Mwah. Um, actually, what should I do, though? Should I just go into people's houses? Tola, I remember Tola. Hey there. Oh, Ken, I read this amazing fact last night. I was reading up on spiders and found out that a tarantula can survive for two years without food. Cool, huh? And kind of creepy too. Tola, you are so cute. Do you need anything, Tola? No? <gasps> okay, we can go in here. I don't know, this kind of looks like Oleander's house. Kind of, it's giving old man vibes, you know? Old learned man who reads and writes on his typewriter. He writes like crime novels. Locked. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, we have to unlock the workshop. Who lives here? I can't get to it. Okay. I say, I think we did enough meeting people. I'm gonna go to the shop because I feel like, did what's his name say that I can go to the shop? I think so. Hello there, dearie. How is everyone? Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Now I've been chatting with Moss a little bit and we were thinking, if you like it here and maybe wanted to stay a bit longer, how about we fix you up somewhere proper to live? <gasps> Yes, wonderful. Now then, you may have seen them, but there are two houses in the village that haven't been lived in for a little while and well, could do with a bit of fixing up. We don't think it'll take much, so if you're interested, we could see about getting some resources together and turn one of them into a lovely new home for you. I just got here, y'all are so nice. How does that sound? It sounds great. I accept. Oh, how splendid. I spotted a bunch of branches and debris around them last time I was there, so maybe it's best if we start by clearing all that mess away first. Can you go and speak to Moss and see if he has any ideas? Yes. There's a good kid. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, something about being praised by an elephant is just really warming my heart right now. Okay, Moss, where are you, buddy? Ah, oh, Ken. Spoken Oma, I take it. Yes. It shouldn't take much to fix up one of those houses, I'm sure. Hmm, you're quite right. That mess needs to be taken care of. Tell you what, I know just the thing. I've got an old axe you could use to clear away those logs and branches. 
Here you go. Head on over to one of those houses and get clearing. Then we can see about starting the renovation. Okay, friend, what do you have? <gasps> Some golf balls, that's fun. Can I buy them? I don't have any money. How about this? I don't have any money. How about some seeds? I still don't have any money. Oh, that desk was cute. Still don't have any money. Okay, so I have an ax. <gasps> yes. Okay, so these look the same. I'm gonna pick the one closest to the beach because I'm a beach girl. I'm a beach gal at heart, you know what I mean? <gasps> no, <laughs> that's your house. That's your home to live in, sweetie. Don't you wanna live? Don't you wanna sleep in a bed? Let's not chop that down, maybe, yeah. Ooh, I, I actually wasn't really paying attention was he saying just get all the deb debris? Maybe, yeah, maybe I have to get all the debris. How'd you get on, youngin? Now that you cleared up some space, I reckon we can maybe start get get started soon. Go have a chat with Oma, see what he says. I love that they're just sending me all around town. Talk to Oma, talk to Moss, talk to Oma, talk to Moss, talk to Oma. Now I'm going back to Oma. After Coriander, Oma's my favorite. Oma might be my top, actually, I don't know. Hello there, Ken. How'd you get on with those pesky logs? All gone. Oh, how wonderful. Well then, now we can get started with the renovation. Or, well, we could if we had the resources needed. Hmm. You know, I've got an old donation box you could have. That way, we'll have somewhere to gather all the resources needed to build the house. If you interact with the house you'd like to renovate, we can pop the donation box outside and start collecting donations for the house. Here you go. Just interact with the house you'd like to renovate and we can get started. Y'all already know I'm going to the beach house. I'm going straight to the beach house. <laughs> I put it right in front of the door. Whoopsies. Okay, I need 40 wooden logs. Okay, so we can do 24. I'm just gonna get all the wooden logs myself because guess what, I'm an independent woman. I'm an independent woman. I don't need no donations. I don't need no donate. Maybe that's the point. Maybe the point is for me to get, for me to fill the donation box. And then they will build the house for me. I'm inept and I can't build a house. I can't, what? You see how I chopped this log? I can't build a house. <laughs> Zero coordination. Zero handy working skills, but that's okay. Oma's gonna do it for me. Okay, that should be enough. <gasps> Yay, all my friends are here. Well, well, look at that, you did it. It doesn't even look like the same house. What a transformation. Mm, not too shabby at all. You must be very excited, Ken. You know, I think this calls for a bit of celebration. Quite right, you've certainly earned it, Ken. Dinner is on me. Oh, I think Oma said that. Someone else said that, whatever. Oh, well now, see you there. Yay, dinner with the crew, dinner with my besties. Well, that stew really hit the spot. Might be your best yet, Oma. How kind of you, Moss. Food always tastes better after a hard day's work, I say. Ken definitely worked hard today and they've got a lovely new home to go back to as a result. Good job, Ken. Sometimes all it takes is a little energy from a new face to make a difference. Ah, Y'all are soon so nice, so nice to me. Speaking of which, you must be tired from all that work. No doubt you want to get back and enjoy the first night in your new home, but I don't have a bed. Oh, Moss. By the way, I dropped off a sleeping bag on my way here too. Should make your night a little cozier, I hope. Thank you. You're very welcome, youngin. Starting to get a little late. We should let you get some rest, Ken. Thank you for your hard work today. Good night, y'all. I have a bed. I have a sleeping bag. I bet there's not a single spider. <gasps> It's cute, it's cute. Look, I have molding. This is not, this is not any, any house, any starter home. I got molding. Okay, what's next? Oh, good morning, Ken. I have a mailbox. <gasps> I hope you slept well. I did. Excellent. After a little celebration last night, I started thinking. Renovating the house made such a big difference to town. I thought there must be other things we could do to brighten it up around here. What do you say? That sounds great. You think so? Great stuff. Well, um, truth be told, I hadn't thought much after that. <laughs> um, perhaps the other villagers have some ideas for the things they'd like to see in town. If you've got some time today, could you speak with them and find out for me? Absolutely, Moss. Anything for you because you supplied me with a sleeping bag and I love you for that. Come by my shop when you're done. All right. <gasps> Ooh, can I pick these? Oh, there's Tola. Hey, Ken. I saw what you did with the house renovation. It's so great to have another creator in town. What are you up to? Anything I can assist with? Oh, hmm, let's see. You know, I was reading a scientific paper yesterday and they said that a good flower planter can have a really good effect on an area's wildlife. Maybe that's something to try? Noted, okay. Great, a mini science test in my local town. How exciting. I'm looking forward to studying the results. Tola, I love you. Tola, you're precious. You're a precious little nerdy baby and I love you for that. Oh, Ken, I was just in the middle of something, but sure. <laughs> Oleander said, 
girl, I'm busy. <laughs> but what? What? <laughs> I love you, you're a little grumpy old man. Mm. You know, we always used to have at least one fence around here, but lately I've not seen any. Terrible turn of events, I'd say. Glad to hear someone's taking time to shape things up around here. Things have been slipping quite a bit recently, I dare say. Oh, Leander, you are hilarious. Get back to whatever you were doing, buddy boy. Okay, so a flower bed and a fence, and I'm gonna go talk to, I think I talked to Moss after. If I remember, there's somebody who crafts. <gasps> Is that a balloon? Cute. There's someone who um, comes in and opens the the like crafting workshop. Oh, Ken, how'd you get on? Great stuff. Hmm. So they've asked for a flower planter and a fence in town, eh? I don't have anything like that here. Maybe Sally can help out. Who is Sally? I think that's the person in the in the workshop. That's right. I don't think you've met her yet. Sally is usually busy working away in a workshop on this and that. Why don't you swing by and see if she can help us out? All right. Wonderful. Thank you, Ken. Okay. I know where Sally is. I know where Sally is. I love the little footprint sounds. Footsteps. That's what they're called. Footsteps? Why does that sound weird? Feet steps. Footsteps? Footsteps. It's footsteps. Come on. <laughs> yeah! We can get in now. Oh, Sally! Oh, hey! You must be... Wait, don't tell me. Ken? Right? Right. Great! Hey, I'm Sally. So nice to meet you. Welcome to my little wooden home. Or, well, my workshop, I guess. How are you? Anything I could help with? Oh, how fun. You're after a flower planter and a fence, are you? Hmm. Shouldn't be too hard to pull them together, I reckon. I'm gonna need some resources, though. Let's see. For the flower planter, I'll need wooden logs and yellow petals. And let's see. For the fence, I'll need wooden logs. And that's it. That should do it. I think you can find all those outside somewhere. Come back when you gathered everything and we can get to the fun part. Making stuff. All right, Sally. I like Sally. You can view what resources are needed to craft an item in your backpack. Oopsies. I didn't listen to directions. I'm sorry. I'll open it now. So I just need wind logs, babes. Let's get to chopping. Oh, they're talking. All right. I'm done. Miss lady, miss ma'am, I got your items. Got your resources. Sally! Welcome back, Ken! How are you getting on? Forgot what's needed. No, I didn't. I have those things. Wooden log. Oh, I need four, not two. I'm so stupid. Okay, I need four. That's why. Sally! Ken! How are you getting on? I got it, finally. I'm so sorry for wasting your time, Sally. Super! Nice! Okay, let's get making. Oh, you know what? Why don't you have a go at crafting them? You look like someone who knows their way around a lathe. What do you say? I have no idea what that is, Sally, but I appreciate your vote of confidence. It's really doing something for my ego. That's the spirit. See that work area just in front of the stove? That's where you can craft things. You can turn resources into other resources. Not only that, but you can craft items as well. Pretty amazing, eh? Woo, okay, give it a go. I love Sally so much. One flower planter, please. And one fence, please. Thank you. Wow, look at you go. That's a pretty fine looking flower planter. This can't be your first attempt at a fence either, surely. It looks so good. Oh, I'm sure Moss will be delighted. Oh, tell him I say hi too, yeah? Thank you. Bye, Sally. You're a gem, Sally. You're the glue to this town, Sally. How'd you get on? I made them. Oh, well. That is really something. Sally doesn't usually let other t others touch her tools. She must have taken a liking to you, youngin. <gasps> Sally likes me, oh my god. Well then, let's get those lovely creations placed out somewhere in town. I trust you can find a good spot for them. So we've got one fence. <laughs> we've got one single fence. That'll look so cute. <laughs> to place an item out in the world, first open your backpack. Okay. Select and then begin play. Oh. Can I place it here? Oh, I can place it there. Okay. There's my flower planter. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. Yay, okay, I did it. Do I go back and talk to Moss? Hi. Hey Ken, how'd you get on? Splendid. I'm certain they've helped liven up the town more than a little bit. 
I was thinking, with the improvements we're doing to the town, we're soon to run out of space, and I'm sure you'll soon start running out of resources, too, if you continue crafting things. You might have seen, but there's quite a bit of space on the other side of the river. It's not that wide, and I'm pretty sure if you ask out Sally nicely, she might help us sort out some kind of bridge. What do you say? Oh, by the way, Oma wanted to speak to you about something. Go and have a chat with her when you've got the time. All right, Oma. Oma, girl. Oh, hi, Ken. If you've got a few minutes, I thought I'd tell you about something I'm pretty sure you're going to like. <laughs> I thought it would be nice to reward you for some of the work you're doing improving the town, so I came up with an idea. I'm calling them Mayor Merits, but basically they're rewards you can unlock by doing small jobs around the town. When you plant trees or whatever, you'll make progress towards a merit and a reward. You'll find a new tab in your backpack where all the merits are listed so you can see how close you are to completing one. Some mayor merits are pretty great, even if I do say so myself, so keep an eye on that page. Great! Take a look and see if you're close to completing one of them. Have a lovely day, Ken. Thanks, Oma. <gasps> I got a house plant! I got a house plant for something? I got a house plant for something! Ooh, this is cool! Like how many steps you've done, how many things you planted, how much, how many days or time spent. I love it, Oma. Thank you, Oma. You're a doll, Oma. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Sally about the bridge. Ah, Ken, welcome back. I bet Moss loved those items you built for him. What are we building today? A bridge, Sally, a bridge. I believe in us, we can do it. Well, that's definitely not what I was expecting. A bridge, eh. Well, for starters, we're gonna need a bunch of wooden planks. Right, can you can help me out with that? Can do. Great, here's the crafting recipe for wooden planks. About 10 should do, I think. While you're sorting that out, I'll get to work on a design. 10 wooden planks, I'm guessing, require wooden logs. I'm guessing like, what, two to five? What do we, th what do we think? What's your guess? Two, okay. So if we, let's do some math. If we need 10 wooden planks, 10 times two, 20. Okay, let's do it. Excuse me, fellers. Oh gosh, we got 31, okay. We'll have extras and no trees left. What a conservationist I am. Sally, oh wait, I need to grab the, need to grab the planks. Woo! Sally, I got the planks. How's it going, teammate? Looks like you got all the wood we need. Super! I threw together a quick design for a bridge that I think will work. Do you want to have a go at making it? Mm-hmm. A bit of a big project for your first build, but I know you're up to the task. Awesome! See the design table there with all the drawings and papers on it? That's where you can turn designs into real objects. Interact with it to get started! Will do. Built. Woo! I told you you could do it! That bridge is gonna do a great job of getting us over that pesky river, I'm sure. Now all that's left is to find a good place for it. I'll leave that in your capable hands, teammate. Just like furniture and other items, you can place bigger things like a bridge by selecting your backpack. Okay. And then I rotate it with... Ooh, there we go. Okay. Well, hold on now. Okay, we could do there too. I like that. Well, well, what a magnificent bridge. Well done, Ken and Sally. You've truly outdone yourselves. My teammate Ken did all of the work, really. I just gave them the design. Oh, our little town is growing up. It brings a tear to my eye seeing the lovely things you've been doing for us, Ken. You know, I'm sure there are other folks out there who'd love to come live with us here. In fact, I'm certain one or two visitors at my inn mentioned they'd be interested in moving. Hmm. Sally, we don't have any houses for them to move into, though. Ah, but we do! With a little bit of work, Ken here put together enough resources to renovate one house. I'm sure if we ask nicely, they'll help us with the second one. See, I told you, Moss. Seriously, though, that would be wonderful of you, my dear. Here's another donation box. Do what you did last time and interact with the house to place it outside. Then we can fill a donation box with resources, and in no time, we'll have a delightful new home for a new villager to move into. How exciting! All right, y'all. I'm going to end this little playthrough here because I think that's a perfect little roundup of the first five days. I loved it. I loved it. I'm so excited that we got to we got a chance to play this. I love the characters. I love that they have such like different personalities. I love that we're going to bring in new people. That's so exciting. I love the cute little villagers. They're so cute. Um, I'm just I don't, I'm excited for this. I'm excited to like start gardening and growing different crops i'm excited kind of like decorate the town and see what that looks like when the town's like decorated exactly how you want to decorate it all right thanks for watching me i'll have uh outro me take you out bye thanks so much for watching me play i want to hear what you think in the comments and check 
the description if you want a link to the game. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye.